So it's about 6.45, I'm about to leave my driveway, headed up to Illinois for this big hunting trip. I'm about halfway there now. I'm in a little town called Sykeston, Missouri. Um, I'm about five hours in. I'm still about four hours away from Illinois. Let's check this place out. See what they got. Take a look at that. All right, guys, I'm about to turn in for the night. Staying right here at the Drury Inn. I decided to come like a day early just so I wasn't in a rush that uh, day I was supposed to be at the camp. Um, either way, been a fun day. Um, gonna go in here and get some sleep, and hopefully we can get some good video tomorrow. Up and at it early this morning. About to go hit a workout before we get the day started. Back on the road, headed to the campsite. Uh, I think I'm about 30 minutes from Illinois. As you can see, the trees are starting to look different. A little bit prettier the further you get north you really start getting a sense of fall weather so guys I don't know if you've ever been through West Texas drove across there um, you think you can't find gas stations can't find stores look rural Illinois may be worse um, but I'm gonna tell you something look what you can find You can find these anywhere. Just picked up the uh, hunting license, the hunting tag rather, here at Bob's Red Fox. Neat little store. Um, we are here in the middle of nowhere, Illinois. Um, gonna be fun. Nice place here, guys. As you can see, nobody's watching TV. About to head out into the woods for the first time. Uh, gonna be a fun day. Hope we get a big one. stand it's about 550 um, looks like a really good spot and I'm sitting here over a right by a food plot in a big field uh, right on the corner of the woods um, uh, they say that the deer is coming out right at daylight and uh, we just got to get them in get them in range guys let's go all right guys uh, I just stuck on uh, about 30, 35 yards. Um, a doe came out early and uh, she kind of left. And uh, I looked over a little bit later. I seen the buck out there in the, out there in the field. And uh, anyway, another doe was over there maybe two does and one of the does came around and uh probably 15, 10 15 minutes maybe the buck came out he just stood there kind of looking around while the doe was eating and the uh the doe she uh was just kind of eating around and uh, the buck, he was a little out of range. Um, I probably could have took the shot, but I wanted to see if he would come a little closer. And sure enough, he kind of, he grunted and kind of ran at the doe a little bit. And she took off. 
he uh, he stuck around, luckily. And he gave me a... Uh, he was just begging me. He kept giving me a broadside shot. Uh, left side. Left side broadside shot. And uh, I took it. Stuck him. The arrow... I think the arrow stuck in him and stayed in him. Um, I'm going to have to go back and watch the video. And uh, we'll see if we can track him down. I think he laid down. I didn't hear much rustling in the woods. Uh, which is a good thing. So we're going give to give it a good many hours. It's pretty cold out here. So the meat's going to be fine. So, yeah guys. Let's see what happens. Head out to uh, pick up the deer. They already found it. Uh, getting it field dressed while we speak. Uh, let's see what we get. There's my stand right there. I shot him about right there somewhere. We gotta see. He took off in there. One of the guys already found him. Right. There's some blood. Good trail. Let's see where he kind of. Yep, we're right here. Lots of blood. He went a little further than I thought. Ow. There we go. Eight point. Big body. Nice.